G'day all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time we're going to take a look at the filter wheel tab in APT settings. So let's go have a look at it. So now we're going to look at the filter wheel tab which is all about filter wheels. Um, if you have a filter wheel connected over here is your list of filters you can use. Um, you put the filter names in, the focus offset if you've calculated them. Um, you can calculate them either manually or use autofocus A to try and calculate them. Uh, I'll have to redo all mine soon because I've got a new set of uh, LRGB filters I need to work with. Um, the gain you want to use with a particular filter, um, this overrides everything except the gain in a plan. And then you can set exposure times for autofocus and for uh, plate solving times uh, if you want to set individual times for the focuses that these will be used in for the uh, filters. And that's what that will do there. Um, you can clear them all and re-enter them, whatever you like there. So they're just what you need, the name, an offset if you're using it, um, the gain, auto exposure, auto focus exposure, and plate solving exposure times. Um, whether you use the focus offsets up to you, depends if you refocus after every filter change. Uh, there's a lot of filters coming out saying they're parfocal and everything else, but uh, there might still be a little bit to go. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it is better the names without connection. Uh, yeah. um, then you have uh, Merivium Instruments filter wheel. If you have one, check that box. Auto connect the filter wheel if you want to auto connect it. If you have a manual filter wheel or draw, uh, you can check that if you've got that. That also includes if you're using a one-shot color with a filter that you want to record the details for in the fits header. Um, pause for a manual change, which makes sense if you're using a manual wheel and you need to change the filter. And check for a connection to the filter wheel on plane start on plan start, which is a good idea. Um, just a note that if you're using a manual filter wheel, filter drawer or a filter on your one shot color camera or your DSLR that you want to be recorded in the fits header, you need to make sure that the filter wheel is connected before you start. Um, otherwise APT will just take it as there being no filters and it won't record the details if you wish to do it. So that's just a special note there for those using manuals. You need to, for a manual filter wheel, filter drawer or a filter connected to a one shot colour camera or whatever, uh, you need to connect your filter wheel for it to be registered to be there. Despite the fact there's no actual electrical connection, it's just to let APT know you actually have one there. And that's it for the filter wheel. Uh, I'll leave this for now and uh, wishes all clear skies and I'll see you in another video. Take care all.